Good morning, you motherfuckers! Alright, everybody, I'm back. This is a Danny Keith vlog. I'm running late. I gotta go get my shit together. I gotta pack my shit, be at the interview. Got a lot to do today. Fucking basketball game, other interviews for work. Tonight we got work. Ladies out of town. Babies with the lady. Shout out everybody. And we back. Danny Keith vlog. Glad to see y'all motherfuckers. So we gotta pack the camera and we'll let that focus hello 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 yeah so we gotta pack the camera write some quick questions um that's the worst part is i'm about to write some questions i'm about to write hey write some motherfucking questions the night before i was tired as hell i didn't want to think about it um i just checked my memory um have a good good enough memory to pull this off without fucking doing all this extra shit um but we got a lot to do. We gotta pack this whole room up. The color of this room looks crazy. I wish I knew how to fucking change the white balance on this damn thing. Um, but yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Sometimes I hate vlogging. I almost left the damn camera. Let's go. Quick update, here we go. So I told brother, we're gonna do the interview about before seven. And uh, long story short, I was like, let's just, uh, let's get here at, uh, and let me help y'all out. Let's get at like 6.45, so we can start by seven, 7.15, right? Look what time it is. And the whole time keep it funky with y'all. I'm just trying to vlog. <laughs> I'm just trying to document this shit. See, look, man, this is the type of shit, man, where I gotta, I gotta prepare, I gotta plan better. So pretty, I definitely want y'all to see this. Oh, look at the rainbow, that's so hard. And it's a pretty ass day out, you know what I'm saying? So maybe it is a good reason I'm fucking vlogging. Um. So I just got a text message from brother saying that he is en route. So I am actually probably not doing bad on time. You know, it's fucking 6.45, 6.48, oh, it's 6.48 right now. 6.48 in the morning. I do gotta stop by like Walgreens or a gas station, grab some AA batteries, cause my ass still ain't buying no rechargeable AA batteries. Hint. Double A batteries and triple A batteries are extremely important for production. Um, I'm vlogging on this camera. This is about to be my new, my, and it's not my new vlog camera. It, it's just my my permanent vlog camera because um, I need two cameras to tell the story. Half the time I need to be using my other camera. So uh, you know what I'm saying? Look, fucking Walgreens is closed. What the fuck? Walgreens is supposed to be 24 hours. Ah, I swear. One thing that makes me so frustrated is 24 hour service places that aren't 24 hours. Like for example, Walmart. I don't know if anybody else is having this issue in the same place. Any Walmart that I seem to go to after midnight, unless it's up north, and this might be in just my city, but any Walmart except the up north Walmart is closed after midnight. They close at midnight. And my ass so used to 24 hour Walmarts, man, Walmarts always 24 hours. You go in after midnight to get the good shopping done. The good shopping done. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta make sure we get that good shopping. Shout out to Dana Keith T-shirts. Y'all better order y'all t-shirts if you haven't already done it. Make sure you do so. And we fucking making history. We fucking making history. This is the Dana Keith vlog. Live and direct. Dana Keith vlog. I'm gonna make sure I keep having one of these. And uh, much love. Respect. Let me go ahead and get my ass to where I need to be. Well, I haven't vlogged in quite some time. Dana Keith is back. Uh, vlogging while driving is definitely dangerous. I'm late as fuck to this brother meeting. 
Um, this brother shoot with brother Luck, Chef Brother Luck. Um, lucky brother, you know, no luck's given. But basically, I am about to zoom to the motherfucking gas station and then ride over to the fucking restaurant. Yes, sir. My ass is at the gas station. Let's go pull, get, go grab some of these. Oh, this motherfucking line, bro. I hate this gas station. Let's go grab these batteries real quick. And once we do that, then we'll be on our way. Slacking. It's what happens when you late as fuck. You know what I'm saying? It happens all the time. What's up, boss? Get some motherfucking breakfast. Tell brother what's up. Hook up the brunch. Give us the brunch sweet. Nah man, um This is that day in the life vlog that I'll be promising. I'll be trying to take y'all everywhere I go. Give y'all, you know what I'm saying, a different perspective. Whether whatever that looks like. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck that looks like. So I appreciate y'all being here. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. Um, stay tuned, motherfuckers. Peace! We here! We here, baby! Alright, so we gotta get all our shit in, and, uh, let me go ahead and do that. Quick check in. So we're here. We live. We almost ready to get going. I actually haven't started setting up. Y'all gonna watch me set up today. Um, beyond that, I forgot these fuckers. I forgot these fuckers right here so we can get it on. Shout out Chris, everybody say what up Chris. Hello everybody. There you go, Team what up? Four, brother Buck. Yes sir. Come check us out. 100%. So yeah, we got the batteries. We actually got Chris in, so that lets me know that I'm running way behind. Yeah. Wanna make sure that we catch the audio the entire time. I hate when the batteries die, so that's like the worst case scenario. And let's go ahead and set up. Quiet on set. 
Quiet on set. Chef's walking. <laughs> From my touch, as we go, we're talking about. We're going to do this thing. Early morning. Interviews. College boy. Two. Little lizards loving lettuce. Little lizards loving lettuce. Little lizards loving lettuce. <laughs> that's what that's, that's your phrase? That's my, that's my shit right there. All right, all right. <laughs> I like here is we want to hit the mental health, which I feel like um, it's more, more of your tangent. I want you to just you know, definitely speak, speak what you want to get off. Uh -huh. And then I'll try to pull specific emotions out or even ask like follow-up questions and try to pinpoint point and make it full. All right, cool. So I'm going to touch on a bunch. I got a bunch of stuff to hit on. And we'll just rock out for the next, you know, 50 minutes or so. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and do it. What was it like working with Pierre? You know, Pierre. Pierre was uh, Pierre was one of our soldiers who joined us this last term, and he was a tough one. Pierre never wanted to be a cook, but Pierre was a bodybuilder. And one of the things I found about Pierre is we had to find the bridge to connect the food for what he liked, what, what were his interests. So I really started to change my approach of, you know, instead of showing him fine dining and plating and, and, and here's a cool ingredient, I, I transitioned and said, this is nutrition, this is protein, this is fuel. These are great ways to add this into your workout regimen. And this is how chefs do it. This is the chefs that work with athletes at the Olympic community, uh, the Olympic Training Center um, that work for celebrity athletes. They think about this kind of thing. And I, and, I, and I think there was a moment with Pierre where we went out to the farm, we were having breakfast with, with the farmer and his family, and he said something that I saw Pierre click. He said, the reason I started this farm is because I wanted to put good food in my body. I wanted healthy, clean food into my body because I studied jujitsu. And that was one of those moments where I was like, I could just see it in Pierre's head, like, this is what it's about. Knowing what your ingredients are and not having processed, hormone injected, you know, modified type foods that your body doesn't know what to do with. Very nice. Um, real quick, I think you had, um, tell me your mindset right now in, in time management versus hustle and focus. How are you doing all this? So I'm working a lot. And I've got many things happening right now. We're discussing new restaurant opportunities. I've got a lot of brand uh, deals happening. I'm doing a lot of appearances. The restaurant's busy, the catering business is thriving. And in the meantime, I'm trying to still be a good Christian and a good husband. And that's hard. You know? that, that requires commitment to, to my schedule my itinerary. If I don't balance my time, I'm not going to be able to get everything done. So I, I live on my calendar. I really set myself up. If you walk in my office at, at, at my house, I have two whiteboards. And one of them is literally 60 days written on the whiteboard. It's a calendar. Just so I can look up and know where I'm going to be next week, next Thursday, two Thursdays. What do I got coming up? What do I need to say no to? I'm getting all these cool opportunities, but I'm not going to say no to a lot of stuff. You know, and, and some of it's for, for my own mental health, and some of it's because I'm already booked. I've turned down two trips to Mexico recently because I just, I can't. I, I've got stuff I'm already committed to. I'm speaking um, on mental health at a convention, or I'm cooking in, in Connecticut for, for No Kid Hungry. I mean, there's so much stuff going on, so I have to really balance my time and, 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 and manage all of this craziness. But I use my calendar as, as my editor. nice enough to take that take that out if you want to keep talking. <laughs> hey, I know how to do that now. That was actually in my tutorial it was a phone ring. <laughs> awesome.